Welcome back. Guess what? We're starting week five. You're half. You're past the halfway mark. There's no return now. Here's what's going to happen this week. Uh, let me just go into week five to see what's going on. Uh, a quick overview. You're doing well on the forums. You're doing well on your quizzes. You're doing well on your uh, uh, integrative uh, software that McGraw-Hill is part of this uh, course. You did well on the homework assignment last time. I was very impressed. Um, remember, how I would do this, try to do it, uh, for some of you, I could see by, uh, remember, on online, I know when you're doing work or you're not doing work. Try to at least open up my concept maps. And those of you who are already finished with the week, some are finished halfway through with your homework assignment, open up the, uh, I have the concept maps are available for you. And you don't have to go into the weekly assignment. You could go into uh, uh, Dr. George's mind maps and you could print them out earlier. So when you're doing your first reading, there's no way you're going to do well in this class if you try to do it all at one time. The class is set up. And I kept on bringing it over. If you're working in a corporate world in an advertising agency or you are a manager or you're trying to do an advertising campaign for whatever issue, you cannot do everything in one day. You have to do it in, uh, uh, during the day. Same way like you when you communicate with your friends and everything else. You just don't wait till Saturday and you download on them. You use face media. I, I, I mean, uh, 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 either YouTube or uh, uh uh, social medias, any kind of social media, within the week. You talk to them, you get back to them. So this is how you have to approach this. Part of this course, and the way I have it set up where I turn off the weekly assignments and open up the next week, is to help you manage your time. The only way, same with me, I can't do everything in one day, so I do a little bit here, I do a little bit uh, there, and everything else works out pretty good. But you have to be able to do it. So set aside, let's say on a Tuesday, uh, uh, since your forms are usually uh, uh, due, at least your first post to my question on Tuesday, and then do a little reading. You know, uh, uh, if, you, if you're already caught up in a week, then you could use Saturday or Sunday or, or at work and read ahead of time. Print out my uh, concept map, add on to it, read ahead of time. Do the Connect homework or the Learn Smart homework. Flip over and uh, uh, answer the questions in the forum. You get, get active in the forum. And this way you can make whatever works well for you. Just like what we've learned when we contact our uh, uh, target audience that we're going to be targeting, which is the best time to reach them. Some are uh, reachable more in the morning, some in the afternoon, some at nighttime, some very late at nighttime. So what's the best time for you that you could focus, not just at this free time because all the kids, everyone's quiet in the house, but you're tired and you're falling asleep. What's the best time that you are more active to absorb new information and be able to uh, 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 relay that information within a forum or when you're doing the quizzes or anything else, okay? So let's see what we have for this week. Now, we already opened up week five. We're going to be covering chapter 13, 14, and 15. Okay, uh, 13 says print media. We already did a little jingle or something we wrote about last time. Using electronic media, television or radio, okay, and using digital interactive media, which is basically the internet you'll be reading about. So these three chapters, what I've done this time with the form, let's go into the form. So uh, let me just give you a quick overview. Let's look at it this way. Your forms were 25 points. I'm giving you a little extra points for the forms because those are a nice, easy point. They're not easy. You have to do some homework and respond to the question. But remember, your forms are going to be utilizing the parts of the forms are going to be part uh, when you type it in and you have to write it in or type it in into my forms. Cut and paste some of those into what you already set up as your advertising plan, a Word document, and just throw stuff in there. It's not in the right format right now. It may not flow, but under each header, you're throwing stuff in because the chapters are closely related to what's re uh, required for your uh, advertising plan. So the form is worth, I think I felt, uh, is worth uh, 25 points. Uh, your homework assignment uh, from Chapter 15, uh, Internet, since that uh, is the medium uh, media that a lot of marketers uh, are utilizing to uh, attract a new customer base. Remember, when you, uh, when you learn here, you find out how many people are actually using the Internet. You're going to be surprised. It's not only the younger individuals. You know, when I look at younger, 18 to 25, we group those in marketing and advertising together because you still have the same likes and dislikes. Once you hit 25, you're either married or got some other kind of commitment, so you're already set in your career path, for lack of better words, so, or developing your career path. So you're, uh, you, you look at life a little bit differently. 
But you'll be still, what you'll find out, people my age, baby boomers, are very active. It's a number, number going uh, uh, forward. As uh, baby boomers are retiring, they're leaving the corporate world. And the corporate world, they're very active with technology. That means they're not going to stop technology, just utilizing it in a different uh, manner. Okay? So uh, your Connect homework uh, uh, is, uh, I upped the points on that to 45 because uh, I wanted to give some of you an additional point. Some of you are at a B minus or an A minus. So uh, this will give you the Connect. This is a, a, a good way of getting you additional points since you're already in there. Remember, you have to read the material. Otherwise, the Connect's not going to be uh, useful for you. You'll be taking it over and over. Some are going through the Connect very quickly because they already have a good foundational understanding of the terms and conditions. Okay, and then connect. You have a learn smart, and then you have a uh, the connect. Well, uh, so let's just uh, okay. You've got that. You've got, you utilize my chapter lectures. They're about an hour long. You can fast forward, and with my chapter lectures, uh, I utilize the concept maps. And then within those concept maps, you have uh, my full my maps, for lack of better words, all the tiers. Even though I may talk about them, I open them up so students could. I added, oh, this is what he said. And then you read the chapter, or you read the chapter, it says, you remember, you put your own note and see if I added any additional notes to there. And those are the, remember, your concept maps are your vocabulary uh, outlines, a rough outline for that chapter, so you know what you covered. So you could utilize some of those vocabularies when you're writing your uh, advertising plan, because it's a requirement of 35 vocabularies anywhere within the seven headers that's required for that plan. If you haven't looked at what's required for your advertising plan, click into on the red side there you'll have uh, I, I don't have the screen open right now when you get into blackboards right up i think it's uh below a couple uh, uh, steps down for where you enter for your weekly homework assignment and you'll see uh advertising feasibility study plan i forgot what i named it uh click here and you have the information you have a short uh, another uh, uh video I always do a lot of videos. I don't get to talk to you. The only way I can communicate to you is face to face. A lot of people like to, uh, you know, they'll have the notes and they'll follow along to see what I really want. The book is a good resources. Okay, so let's go into forms and we're gonna go through. I just give you a quick uh, general overview. Make sure you utilize my mind maps. Again, these are links uh, over there uh, and Harper uh, uh, iTunes. For some of you who are having trouble using uh, YouTube, I put that in there because Harper iTunes. Uh, uh, some of the chapters load up or some uh, get hung up when I send them from uh, uh, Camtasia Relay as a software I'm utilizing now because some individuals have asked me or how am I using those concept maps it's a business software it runs about $200 uh, which would be a uh, mind jet you know 150 dollars I, I purchased while I just keep on updating so I always get the discounts on there but it's a good software because it integrates uh, nicely with um, uh, Microsoft Word, uh, Excel, and other, uh, the Microsoft product. It, it, it's a good, it, it integrates very nicely with it. Okay, so let's see what we have for our forms. We'll start off with our forms form. This form, remember, everything I do, I don't like busy work. I'm building you up for your paper. So when it comes to your paper, if you're using your brain, if you're doing what I, if you've been watching these videos, so You'll go in there. I want you to select two media types from chapter 13, 14, or 15. I mean, not two from each chapter. You could utilize anyone. You could utilize print. You could utilize uh, radio. You could utilize uh, the internet. But if you do an internet, I'm going to go on the internet. Which internet site? Are you going to use Google? What site are you going to utilize? How are you going to get individuals to see that site? That's what I'm looking for. You could post it in there, but what's going to happen? That's something you have to determine. The author and the book provides you a uh, maximum uh, uh, links for every chapter. Remember, you could uh, don't, uh, you could you, uh, go back to some of the other chapters and say, hey, I, I could use this link to answer this. That's, you know, there's so much information here, so many links. If you're going to go into advertising, this is an excellent book that I would well, that I would keep. And I think that this is uh, the book you have is with uh, Connect and everything else all tied in. So it's uh, if you brought the loose leaf book that uh, uh, Harper Collins. Uh, uh, is selling that's not a, res a resellable bulk or a buyback book because the costs have been reduced on that you got the access so you don't throw that book away it, the links the the are excellent so here's what i want you're going to identify the media you know two of them you know put that in your subject area you could have two separate subject area or you could write down um you know uh, uh, game with uh, game consulting i'm going to use uh, print and internet 
okay and then in the body what i want you to do is to again remind me what your your uh, uh, product is so other people that may not been as active with you in communication and now all of a sudden say He's using the same kind of media or she's using the same kind of media. How did they get some information? So you could go in there and you could add on to it. So you're going to identify two of them. Then these two, remember, in your advertising campaign, you can't just have one media. You, I'm expecting two or three medias just like you would in an a, a actual advertising campaign because you're talking about integrated marketing communication, which means I, uh, uh, I uh, present my communication my integrated or campaign or my message whatever my message is that you're going to be identifying to different uh, media uh, means so it kind of starts i see it as my target audience sees it in print you see it on the radio they can see it on television some have already uh, looked at television you could get some ads from a cable tv or direct tv satellite direct tv uh, could isolate it just to the geographic area you want, but the internet opens up a whole door anywhere in the United States if you have something you could sell or some product. Some of you are doing a service, but you may be able to sell a shirt or you may even sell a hat that has your name or logo or something on there. There are a lot of people out there that are just buying hats for a different company. I was in sales an account manager and marketing. People just like stuff. I go to some offices and all I have is all different kind of companies hats that they did interaction. That's what they do. This is a hobby. You know, I'm dealing with this vendor or supplier. So you may have something to bring people in. Or you may have some idea or some services that you may be able to uh, help somebody else uh, 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 create their own uh, uh, ad in another uh, uh, or a company or part of your network. Okay, so you have that. Now, what I'm looking for, when you're going to talk about the media, internet, or you can listen, I'm, I, I hear on this one, if you're going to say radio. Just don't say I'm going to go on a local radio. I want to know what station. I want to know what station. And let's say if I do 99.5, that's a country western station, who's your audience? And you could get that by visiting their site and you'll have the site. And then you'll put that site. What's their cost? How much? How long you going to want it? When are you going to, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, run your ads? At what time? When are you going to start the ads? That's what I'm looking for and the cost and put that in. And remember, part of the whole thing in the forum, you have to help somebody else. That's a good station. You know, Right now you're going to do one or two or three stations because you're going to bring it down. You're, only, you're limited with the amount of money you have right now. No different than large organizations. They want to test it first to see what response you have as you're going to be reading. In this chapter and other ch chapters, how do I measure? Always a measurement. So you don't want to have too much uh, going on. Can You can't measure uh, uh, one media over the other. And remember, the sites that you're going to uh, uh, give information here will be part of your research paper, your advertising plan, and you're going to have to uh, uh, provide me six or seven or whatever I have in a plan of outside sources that you received information for. So now you found a site to add for this media, for your media here. Uh, you, you've found the cost you're going to have to do this. You already find out who the target market is, and it, uh, hopefully it's the same target market you're going in this geographic, and you're going to be testing it. That's what you're doing now. You're going to be testing it. So now you have that information. Cut and paste it into that file. If someone replies to you, a lot of people say, Dr. George, you turned off the, uh, the forms. How do I reach it? The forms are available. Even Once they're turned it off, if you reply to somebody else and they replied something to you, if there's something you like, if you want to bring it back, you have to make a connection with that individual. Because when, when I close the form and I give you your grade, and you're doing very well in the form, you're doing uh, a lot of individuals are doing more than the required uh, 10 or 11 posts. I'm getting 15, 18, 20 posts. Some of them I know are real short, so I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of adding up together. I mean, if you just give me one line, and I'll say, hey, I did 35 posts, Dr. George. I want the full point. 35 points. Is it? Yep, that's a good idea. Nope, that's a good idea. Yeah, I, I agree with you. Yes, that's very good. Those ain't posts. Those are comments I give you when I'm reading your comments my whole thing you know if there's something else i will add on to it for some of you know i add on some are longer some are shorter it, i might not add it on longer to you but i expect you to read other my posts and other students posts that's how you learn within a network that's how you the same skill set you're learning here is the same thing you should take over to the if you're in the business world or you're a manager or you're an advertising agency or you're working with an advertising agency and you're on a committee coming up with the new ads you're always going back and forth you're reading it but you don't have to respond all the time but you're required to keep abreast of what is going on 
skill sets. Remember, this is part of the skill set. So you'll be able to take a large project, bring it, break it down. Just look at this class. It's a, a large project. You're covering 19 chapters. And how do I bring it down into manageable sections? I do it by the week. And in the week, you have to break that down. Can't do it all in one day. Something happens. So my computer was out because I had a power out. You have to kind of reboot it. Uh, it, it took a hit. Uh, we fix it, nothing happened. I got third protectors, worked out well. But that delayed me. But I should have had everything so it wasn't like all my work was done. Some of it, and I uh, picked up. So you have to, you know, if you plan everything one day, it's not going to work out well. There's too much information, too much to know. Your brain likes to take information slowly. My concept maps tells you everything that's there. So that, that's fine. I'm preaching here now, all right? This is my learning lessons. No different than I would go in the classroom. You're hearing me live. So you're going to tell me what radio station. If it's going to be a local newspaper, you're going to tell me it's the Daily Herald or it's the Gazette or it's this. If it's going to be a magazine, here's the magazine. Here's where I'm doing. It's going to be Google. What time you want to run? It's going to be continuous or it's going to be before. You know, Google gives you a lot of options when you can run an ad. You don't want to be spamming somebody else. I'm just giving you ideas, remember? I'm just giving you, I don't understand. By this time, you should. The book is a good resource. You have a lot of information. Easy reading, good site. I make you go through the site. So that's what you have. And then uh, you should be okay. Okay, so cut and copy. What I was saying, if you, uh, once I close the forum, you could always click on the grade. And anyone you talk to, and they responded back to you, you'll be able to see. If you just read it, but never make connection to that person, you won't be able to see that. I won't open up. It's like uh, uh, the email is lost. It's, it, look at it this way. Even though you're doing it uh, through the internet, if I'm talking to a client or a customer and he or she says something, I, I don't go back. You know, I, I met you with you last week. Could you tell me what you told me? What the heck is that going to happen? If you're going face-to-face <laughs> -face as an advertiser in a meeting, I may not take notes all the time because they feel a little bit uncomfortable, but when I leave the meeting, I'll jot down everything else that happened the meeting so i understand if there's something's important cut it save it paste it now good okay so that's your forum 25 points okay so let me go back in here weekly assignment now you have another homework assignment this homework assignment i i, I up the points remember there's so many points out there if you're just looking at the points i'm looking at the total uh, uh points because some points i'm dropping some uh, homework assignment i'm getting you're doing about 70 percent Less than you would be in a 16-week course because I have a little more time. You're doing a little more homework assignments, a little more activities. So the points vary, but the uh, total points, what the points I have here, overall the percentages should be the same so when you get your uh, uh, grade. So what I'm looking at, look at your, always check your grades. What's my grade? Or is my current grade? What did I do? You know, you know what I mean? So I might have not did well on the quiz. I might have not did on the connect homework. I might have did something uh, well, but overall I'm still in my age. It's my target goal. I'm still doing good. Remember, at, at Harper College or, or at the other college that I'm teaching at, uh, at a junior college, it's not like at a four-year university. If you got an A-, minus, you don't get the full three credit uh, uh, hours. You get like 2.75 or something else. Here, if you got an A-, minus, just by one or two points, it's an A on your... Uh, on your uh, in your grade now some of you at the end you're going to come up there and say dr george i'm only short by two percent could i have remember each week here is like two weeks worth of work and you should be able to know it's six weeks so if you're two percent it's like four percent if you're five percent it's like ten percent look at in perspective what you're doing it's a 16 week course crammed down into eight weeks okay so we got the form so what do we got for our homework our homework reading what i've done here this here is for some of you would you like to copy it print it out i saved it here you can click on here and go into the sites or i attach it as a file you, you have it in your book go straight out of your book so a lot of students may not type well you know i mean i type 60 words a minute but you may not type well or you you know because you got the different characters everything else so what happens here is the links you click on the link go back and forth or you open this up as a word document save as a word document and you could click right on it i think it's like right click if you got the word document because the links are already in the word document and then you get all your information and you have here's the questions that you have in case you want to flip back or some of you are using an electronic ebook and it makes it a little easier so i've done everything out once you compile this did the work like you did in the last week you know right now is uh I'm, what i'm trying to do is not just to read material i want you to go to actual sites that's how you learn that now hopefully when you're seeing different advertising you're being able to comprehend 
what the marketer or the advertiser's message is going, how they present it, what's to catch it. When I did the homework, I read the homework last week, for those that I read the homework, usually I won't grade the homework earlier because I wait till I get half the class homework in there so that I'm not grading you too hard and somebody else too weak so I have a general, you know, you're graded no differently than you are in the business. You're graded as a team and you're graded individually. And I grade you individually, same thing uh, when I'm looking at a group project or a team project, uh, similar to everyone's doing the same thing what did one do over the other those who did more and those who did a little oh you gotta see I met everything else but you didn't exceed everything else remember in business I have to exceed I have to give what the make sure I covered all the information if you covered the information and you wrote at a college level and it's very professional you'll get the point if not remember your grade is your academic currency. Okay, so you have that, and then like uh, normal, you click on here, and you. Uh, everyone last week, everyone, well, uh, not everyone. Uh, I, I have, you know, I'm recording this, uh, and it's like uh, uh, I haven't graded all the papers, but the papers I've graded, you already knew were to submit it in the written submission section, and not into the feedback section, or you do the attachment, and then when you get the grade. Click on the grade, and a lot of times I have my comments, not only in the feedback, I also have my comments embedded in, in the paper. Some are looking at me and going, Dr. George, how come you got the yellow highlight? As I'm reading along, no different than I'll be reading uh, a regular paper, I, I'll take notes, I highlight, so I'm keeping in mind. All I'm doing is just I'm going through it, I make a comment, I move along. Uh, it's, this way you know what you've written, and I'll put my comments appropriately. Why I'm making you do the homework is when you're submitting your final paper, you'll be submitting it this way to me, and it's going to, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, a plagiarizing uh, software. All homework is, goes through a plagiarizing software. There's requirements by Harper to make sure that no one is taking somebody else's work. If, you know, if some of you, you could click on there, and especially some of the homework when you're uh, repeating the same uh, uh, links and everything else, you're going to see 85% is going to be like somebody uh, somebody else to submit it. That's no problem here on the homework assignments because I, I understand that there's going to be repetition because it tells me which uh, uh, areas you've uh, somebody else already submitted. So it's the same link. That's why I always tell you, don't write the question over again. Rephrase the question if you want to. Uh, it's easier for you. Just write question one, two, you know, or A, B, C, and D. And make sure you cover it. If you only and don't write it one large paragraph and assume that I'm going to pull it out, I am not. If it's one large paragraph, I'm looking at all of A and you get everything wrong for uh, uh, B, C, and D. Look, I'm not being harsh. You're at a college level, not only college level. When my client wants it in this format, even if I want this format better, if I can't convince him, this is the way he wants it. This is the way she wants it because this is the way they had to submit it into their process whatever they're doing at their because this is their procedure for their company i'm not arguing they're paying me to do a task this is how i'm doing same thing when an instructor wants it in this format this is the format you'll be presenting it to me this is the format remember your uh, 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 advertising plan has to have the seven header executive summary Number one, last one is recommendation, okay? And then all the, and the other five headers that I have identified in the conceptual map give you the outline, the same thing that the author has that in Exhibit B or whatever it was in the back that we've talked about before. You know, and it could be Exhibit A. I forgot which one it is. I think, uh, if I'm mistaken, I think it was B. I've, I'm teaching other uh, courses. All of them have to have a paper requirement that's just part of the requirement and knows that when you leave uh, Harper College, you have good writing skills, and you're writing at a professional level, and you're writing at a college level. Remember, this is, a, in, in um, uh, for lack of better words, in the forums. Forums is like casual conversation. You have some errors in there. Try not to make any errors, but always use the person's first name. It's easier uh, to follow along. But in the paper, I expect to have no errors, no spelling errors. You got spell check, and you will do very well on here. Okay? So that's your homework. So this gives you all the information. Here's where you submit it. Remember, it says click here to submit. There's where the points. This is just uh, information for you. Or you can just look it out of a book, however you want to do it. 
I'm trying to make it easy for you. I'm trying to make it easy so you don't have to go running back and forth a thousand places, okay? And you'll see my video here now. I'm recording it now so you, you don't have it because this is for this week. They had the forum, the homework, your connect, uh, learn smarts. I upped them from 10 to 15. And remember, you have next week, you have week six. In week seven, you got to turn in your paper. So week six, you have three more chapters. I think it's, if I'm mistaken, is uh, 16, 17, and 18. And, you know what I mean? So I'll, uh, you'll have those. I'll try to have the form a little bit, start getting you used to your paper. But still a little, uh, uh, well, one more question. I may not give you a homework assignment. I'm not sure yet because that's why I'm upping the points here to offset some of the points. So you'll have a little more time to get your stuff together for your paper. And then week seven, you're gonna be working strictly on your paper. Just the one chapter, you do the quiz and the Learn Smart uh, or, uh, or Connect, whatever I decide to do at that time. And the form will be strictly geared for your paper, because the paper will be due in week seven, I think by Friday or Saturday, whatever the due date is on, on your syllabi. And your uh, PowerPoint presentation, either a narrative where you could talk or a YouTube uh, if you feel more comfortable. Remember, you're going to advertising. Get used to talking in front of a camera. That's what you're going to do. Or marketing. You have to get used to it. Or I'm not going to do this. I'm just taking this selective. I'm going to be a manager. Man, I'm a manager. I'm talking in front of people. I've got cameras shooting at me. I've got people videotaping me. Get used to it. Most of you are already on social media. You have more stuff out there. If I really wanted to find out about you, I could see your whole personal life. I don't want that right now. I'm not doing I got enough of my own stuff to do here. But I want you to get used to it. You're part of advertising. And you may be able to do this. If you do that campaign or anything else, if you can go, go into advertising, you could send, send this to your boss. Hey, look at this YouTube. You know, before you know, what do you think? Should I utilize it? Wow, this guy's out of the box. Instead of just sending me a paper, he's sending me a quick YouTube, show me his PowerPoint presentation or her PowerPoint presentation. Look at this as also not only improving your business or uh, your um, uh, 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 advertising, you know, if that's what you're going to do it, but also how I advertise myself. How could I send things? You know, you got the YouTube, send it to your boss. What do you think? But I got to send this to my, uh, my instructor. What do you think? Oh, this guy's really good. He's got technology in there. I never thought about that. Okay. Remember, I'm trying to help you. I don't like busy work, but this is work you have to do. It might as well learn here uh, uh, when in the class with your peers and me evaluating, telling you what to do. And you look at it and say, okay, in my online, I'm face to face classes, I record them live on their presentation. They come up there and I'm using Camtasia. They're recorded live. And they, it's not like you could uh, cut and paste. They're live. This is it. You're on. Like you would be in front of a client and presented. You can't say, oh, I made a mistake. I take that back. Uh, when I record, Sometimes, you know, I'll make some comments or you see uh, a buzzer going off. I'm taking a drink or I say, oops, you know, hey, I'm in there. Get used to it. So this is a good way. And if you're talking too fast or if you're nervous, the camera doesn't lie. Well, hopefully it doesn't lie. You know, you could uh, modify it. You know, there's a whole d different thing of advertising. But overall, you know, you know what I mean? So you can see, oh, man, I got to improve on that. Look at it. Look, if you look at some of my previous YouTube, I was boring. I was like this. I was like straight. I never smiled. Hey, because I was nervous. What? After a while, it, it comes naturally. Remember, the more you do it, the natural it'll become. Okay, so we have that. Your quizzes are worth 45 points. No problem. Okay, now uh, let me just go look at the connect in here. I'm just going to do it in here and the Learn Smart. Whenever you had the brain, that's the learn smart. You just do them as many times until it stops and you get the full grade, always check it. When you have just this thing, it says connect, you have two tries. So you go one time, you click it, and all of a sudden you get a score. That's not the score. You click it again, and it basically will look at the areas you had uh, wrong, and you can find out and try to improve. I think that's why I set it up for the, for the summer classes, because I want you to, to get the maximum amount of points. Do it again. Go through the time. Click it. Finish it. And then it's going to have a score. If it's lower than your original score, I'm still going to take your original score. I'm always looking at the highest score. You have the whole week to Sunday midnight to do it. On the connects, if you are late for any reason, every day you're late, I think it's like 10% or 20% that starts knocking off. I give you a little uh, time. On the Learn Smart, no. You have to contact me with an email. Say, Dr. George, could you provide me an extension? 
So I'm looking to it. That means you actually ask your boss or your customer, I messed up, I didn't do it in time. Could you help me out? The other one is an automatic default, no different than you have your credit card uh, payment and you're late and it doesn't wait. Uh, they don't wait to call you up. Oh, you're late. Uh, we're going to charge you. You already know. It's late past the due date. Here's how much your penalty you're going to pay for. All right. So that takes care of that. Just remember. And I put that in the uh, verbiage in here. And in both of these, I did a, a, a video. Uh, you know, I, I'm more, especially in advertising, marketing, more of a visual, more uh, to, to see how the videos come in. The videos you have to complete, you can't fast forward them. It's just to make sure that you understand it. So you can look at the video and uh, it's another way of listening to me, listen to video, look at the sites. That's what we're doing with the homework. You're going to go again to the different sites, look at them, get your information and get back. How you learn is seeing what is out there, and I take it and see what I could apply to it. I'm not stealing. I'm not using that. I'm getting ideas. No different than when target managers go into Walmart to see how they're set up or what's on sale to see if I could relate back to it. What else do we have here? In week five, so I have that. You've got my connect. You've got my lectures. Each lecture is about an hour. You know, some of them are surprising. us under an hour. But remember, you can fast forward me. Look at the concept map. Save the concept map. This is what you utilize for your final exam, which is a comprehensive. Going to cover all uh, uh, 19 chapters. They're not going to be scrambled, but you uh, in worth 100 points. Okay, and your uh, your feasibility, your your uh, advertising plan is worth 150, and I think the PowerPoint 75. There's a lot of points out there that you can control, but a lot of, remember, after you finish this, try to somehow get it to your boss or to your uh, someone who will appreciate it at work. So you know, a lot of people when they're going for advertising, they may not be in the advertising field, or you're doing something that is your business. You could have somebody else to look at it. What do you think of this? Uh, you know your family or friends those so are your uh, your peers or your focus group so to help you if you're working you say hey what do you think about this i gotta advertise you think this makes sense before i submit it you know you already submitted you can always send it to your boss later he doesn't know if you submitted it or not or she submitted it or not or uh, uh, right but this way it gives you that hey look at this i'm going to school look what i've done look what i've done and now you're kind of showing them and they're going hmm Boy, I thought you were just kind of neat there. I kind of like that. Let me keep an eye on him. Or let me keep an eye on Georgia or whatever, you know, uh, who's out there. Remember, there's more women in uh, uh, going in college. I think it's like 55% overall nationally than men. So you're going to be in the leader position. You're going to be there whether you're going to be an uh, advertiser or not. You have to understand the concept. If you're the boss and you're having an advertising agency coming to you or you have one of your employees coming to you or if you're working for someone, say, hey, let me help you with this ad. I'm taking this advertising class. Do you mind if I use this as a model? And some have changed their ad, uh, their, their business model just for that reason because they're going to do something at work and this makes sense and now they could tie it in and they get, ex uh, they get a grade here and they also get some exposure at work. Okay, so that's it. And remember, if some of the uh, YouTubes aren't working, you always have a uh, Hopper iTunes. You click on the site, you can have the iTunes loaded on the computer. Or if you're at the main campus in the labs, they have certain computers that have it. Or if they don't, you can just ask the uh, lady there or the gentleman there. Uh, uh, you know, they do help you. That's their job. Some smile, some don't. But, you know, uh, but a lot of them are very friendly, very helpful. Say, I want this computer here. I'm always in the back. Could you have iTunes, uh, you, uh, iTunes loaded on the computer because I want to access uh, Harper iTunes. It's a program that Harper is promoting, so they'll load it on there, and then you could go in there and see all my uh, YouTube, so you can save it on your smartphones, however you want to do it, and you got the uh, bigger version if my YouTube uh, link is not working. I do that, so remember, uh, to make it easier for uh, different individuals how they want to access the, the software. So I'm using different medias already. I got Harper iTunes, I have uh, a YouTube, and then we also have the forum. So that's it for the week. We'll be covering your know, print media, electronic media, uh, television, radio, and interactive media, which uh, is the internet. All right? So all this is what you're going to need. You're, most of you, 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 by this time, you should have about 50%, 60% of your uh, uh, paper already done. It's not flowing right, but that's not the point. I'm just throwing stuff in. It's like I'm making a cake. I got all the ingredients ready. I got this, this, this. I just had to put it together. That's at the final phase. You're putting it together and putting it in a narrative uh, format. You're doing all the requirements, but you don't have to think, what was this? What did I say here? It's there. You're just adding the words and putting it on. My cons conceptual maps 
else I provide you is the basic outline. I've done all the work for you. The author's done all the work for you. All you have to do is put on, it's a skeleton, you just put on some meat on it, and you, um, you know, uh, effectively. Some of the stuff you're making up, you some of the stuff you're subject. Other stuff when I'm looking at the research, your target market. Those are assumptions, those are research data. What did you find out? That's why I said don't look at the whole United States unless you're looking at it. Focus in on one geographic area because that's the beauty. Even with Google, they could just do it by zip codes. That's all you want. People who uh, click on and within that zip code, there's, uh, there's more than you think. There's so much, you know, it's integrated. There's so much that I could do on both sides what the customer sees or what I see and all of these uh, things. If you're going to use a magazine, which magazine? And, uh, you know, so uh, you, you do well, all right? So I'm enjoying this. You're at the end. Look, pretty soon it's going to be over. You gonna, you'll have some little time off before your summer unless you've taken a second half. Cause I think Harper has like uh, the first section. Is the, what This is the summer, the first eight weeks, and then they have another eight-week section uh, for those diehard. Remember, if you want to finish in, within a two-year and a two-year uh, college, is you have to take almost a full load in the summer. There's no way you're going to take off in the summer. It'll take you three years uh, on an average that way. Okay? So, again, my name is Dr. Jordan Machaki. It's a pleasure. I, I enjoy reading reading your uh, forms. I may not interact all the time because I want you to start learning. But how, how do I help each other out? That's what you do. Once you, they know that you're a resource, not that you're a complainer, that you're a resource, not that you're a taker. You help others out. They're helping you out. And that's how you develop. That's how you get name recognition. That's how you move along with an organization. Hey, who, where did you get that from? I, I got stuck, but George helped me out. Okay? That's what the forums do. Everyone, and a lot of people, are, you're helping each other out. Some more than others, and you're doing well. All right? So I'll see you in a forum. Again, this is week five. We're going to be covering chapter 13 using print media. We'll be covering chapter 14 using electronic media, television, and radio. And we'll be using digital interface media, which is uh, most likely is the internet uh, on there and some social media on there. And you know, so the connect homework for 45 points. Uh, your quiz is 45 points. Uh, uh, the assignment homeworks were uh, 20 points. And I think in the form is worth 25 points. I think it's like 135 points or something, uh, give or take. I, I'm trying to think. I can't. Let's see. I think I, I did put it in here. Oh, yeah, 135 points. My mind is still there. And I'll see you in the form. Have a nice day. Bye.